Yeah, all right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Game number two already underway. It is a best of five in the semifinals. It's spawning here in the bottom left. He's leading 1 0. It's going to be Acer's Nurchio. Nipper right as the red Protoss. It's Fanatic Sarsum. So I do want to talk about the pros and the cons of the map, but before we do that, I've got to give some big shouts and thank you to Chairs for Gaming, guys. Chairs for Gaming, for those who don't know, they sell DX Racers to Canada and the United States. If you're in Canada, use the promo code BASETRADETV, you'll get $20 off your purchase. I know the chairs are pretty big and expensive, and it's not something you should buy on a whim, but if you do decide to get one, I, Zombie Rub and I have both had them, uh, we can vouch for they are quite comfortable, so check them out, maybe they're for you, maybe they're not, but at least give them a look, chairsforgaming.com, chairsforgaming.ca. Also, thank you to Cooler Master and CM Storm. They been on board several of our events at this point uh, I think all the way since November it's been quite a quite a while actually and I'm always glad to have them help support us so uh, if you guys really want to give them some thanks make sure to tweet at them at cm underscore esports you have no idea how big of a deal it is for us to have you do that to them as they uh, love getting praise from the uh, fans but okay expedition lost obvious pro or con depending on your point of view is these back rocks there's definitely ways to abuse them we've seen them uh, in several different matchups I'm not sure Farson would necessarily go for a blink on this map because shy of actually just using the ledge, it's pretty bad to use blink for an all-in as there's quite a bit you have to maneuver around to properly execute it. Uh, for yeah. Nurchio's sake though, I mean, I kind of think it's more viable for him to do like a big roach attack through the back door. Yeah, uh, we haven't really seen the abuse of that back door uh, except for Lobo versus like Holt, I think. Yeah. He did a, uh, a mortal bust. And he didn't use the back rocks, but he threatened to use the back rocks, you know? So that's uh, sometimes even even better, just having them be afraid and put bunkers up there. But other than that, not really. Um, maybe they've been broken down eventually and used as a counterattack, but it's mostly just been about uh, if you do take the third over there, of course, you want to break those rocks. And that's kind of the only reason we've seen them used. But I'm still waiting for people to really abuse it. Like, where's the two base immortal all in that just breaks on those rocks? Right, and the sentries just lay waste to this ramp or something. It's not really not too far away, but uh, we did have a forge expanded to Hearthstone. I was kind of thinking, all right, maybe if he misread this pool timing, he would have still gone for the cannons. Because there's this really cool spot you can use back here. Three pylons and a cannon will fully wall it off. And even Lings will struggle to clean that up. But Hearthstone, not wanting to dedicate to it, decides to actually just expand, which I don't think is a bad idea. Hearthstone's. I think strength in all matchups, whether it's PvP, especially PvT, or even doing expand PvZ, macro games seem to be his forte. Yeah. Oh. No, the Silver's gonna get away. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> no problems there. And, uh. You know, I, I mean, for now, Nurture has time to get this third base. He did not go for gas in the main, so it's not going to be his speed. He is actually chipping down those back rocks, which I think is an excellent choice. I mean, there is no there's no reason not to use your links if you have them. One at the front, maybe, and then the Legend Court kills it, so whatever. You could take this on the this map, but it's not that big of a deal until later when the expansions are taken. Yeah, these are like late game Zelnagas, uh, just due to the pathing of the rocks especially, but I just... We still... I, I don't know that we've seen any game where I feel the Zelnagas were that influential. Uh, yeah, just just when the Terran uses it, uh, expanding to the north while the Zerg expands to the left, because then it's on their direct route to their third. Yeah. Uh, and then it actually kind of seems overpowered, because it almost always seems to be in the favor of the Terran who takes it. But... Uh, that's a that's a different matchup entirely. So. Wait, this is kind of bad for Harson though. I'm surprised he doesn't even have a pylon back here. Oh, speaking of the devil, coming to place that now. Uh, his Stargate's gonna be pretty nice for this though, because let's say these links had this rocks, these rocks almost dead. Let's say this was a virtue attack that was gonna bust through. But the nice thing about the Stargate is between a Void Ray and Oracle and a lot of other potential, you're not gonna really die to an attack like that. Not someone like Harson at least, but. Uh, same time, Nurture taking that quick third behind this, he's able to just drone and drone and drone, and this isn't a lot of pressure, this isn't a lot of damage, but this is something that will put Harsim on edge, he has to be very aware of what's going on, and, I mean, he kind of knows, like, he can't start walking around with probes and pylons because his ling's already on the map. Yeah. Nurture is going to take a glimpse at, I think, this fourth gas over here, he doesn't know that it's Stargate. Uh, so the Oracle will be a bit of a surprise, but if you saw the Stargate, you'd also know that you could go ahead and drone, 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 not to worry about an all-in. And he sees that fourth gas, maybe thinking, okay, okay, maybe it is just an expand build, and then uh, I think he'll actually might see this Oracle. Barely catches a glimpse of it, and I think he actually saw it too, because uh, the Overlord turned around a little prematurely. Okay. 
Uh, well, that's nice. Yes, four colors coming down immediately. Uh, Queens of the Mineral Lines as well. I mean, it's it's really hard to pull off an Oracle game ending damage. It's not like when you use the Oracle versus Terran. There is no chance that this thing ends the game. I mean, just the Queen alone ensures that much, but you'll still take some probe losses, or drone losses, pardon me. But as you said, feeling free to drone behind this, because, yep, Stargate is that dedication where there's no seven gate follow up to it immediately. <laughs> Which, you know, sometimes happens. But he also saw the third being placed down. So. He knows how, how greedy he can be. He's going to get a couple more drones. He's going to 65. Uh, the lair. Has he gotten a Roach Warren at all? No, hasn't even felt the pressure to get a Roach Warren. And since he's gotten away with it for so long, I don't know if, like, he might still go into Roach Hydra. Uh, we've seen people going into Hydra's first, actually, and then the Roach Warren. Kind of just, like, uh, rearranging the steps, I suppose. Or uh, something else, but it is going to be roaches. Orc control at Hearthstone is pretty cute, I gotta say. I I'm wondering though, it's uh, for someone like Nurgio, you're right. Like it could be roach hydra, it could be just about anything. And Hearthstone knows this too. Expanding horizontally is kind of cute, but this also tells me he doesn't want to get too aggressive too soon. Because uh, I do think like expanding vertically you know, towards your opponent as a protest player is really not a bad idea on this map. Not only do you, of course, get closer to your opponent, sure, but that's also that like, your defensive point becomes your offensive outpost. There's just a lot of pros to it, opposed to if you uh, just play this weird passively, no rush, half the map, half the map game. Yeah. Yeah, the jury's still out, I guess, because we also don't see Terrans necessarily 100% take the one. To the bottom of Hearthstone's base, uh, Cross has just been the one that's very consistent about it. So. Yeah, I think uh, the problem is we still haven't had a lot of people play on these maps in tournament settings. I mean, let's be honest, if you're Terran, you've probably vetoed this map on ladder most of the time anyways, so... Yeah. Yeah, we'll see it uh, become more stable, but uh, I mean, I kind of agree. You know, the the one con about going towards that south base for Hearthstone is that it does pretty much give you, like, a blind, blind left side, and it's much less... Uh, it's much harder for them to drop the left side as well if Nurtia was to expand to the left, uh, which he is. He double expanded. Uh, it's only one Void Race, sadly. I was kind of hoping we'd have that dedication. I love Sky Toss matches, but uh, Hydralisks, a, a Spire, a fifth base. I mean, Nurtia's got it all. Yeah, he really does. Uh, defending this push should not be that big of a deal either. In fact, Hearthstone starting to pile on uh, jump really, really a waste away. Uh, but with 15 uh, hydras in the way, a couple more roaches, that's a beefy army. Yeah, but the thing about Expedition Lost that's quite nice is there are a lot of really awkward choke areas you can use and abuse against your opponent. Uh, for example, Hearthstone could knock down these rocks and then, say, try and blitz through the back door or just knock down that hatchery. Same time, uh, these ramps might be wider, but it's the other engagement areas that have like these weird chokes. So it, it's really for Hearthstone because he's gone so century dependent, gonna hinge on where he takes the fight. And out here in the open is probably not one of those locations he wants to fight in. Now with oh, these bushes, you go. so. He's gonna give up his fifth? It's not a bad choice. I mean, you double expand. It's 300 minerals, 350. So it, it kind of hurts. <laughs> I guess he decided he couldn't take that army on. And that's looking sort of similar to last game of Skype, of course. The mutas are coming as the attack happened, but the counterattack will still be very good. <laughs> Cute little force field. I guess if you don't have observers, the Oracle will cut it uh, for that detection. But it kind of sucks he's using the energy uh, other than maybe having this to help fry up some of the Hydras, the Lings. I mean, the Oracle does surprisingly bursty damage, but at the same time, looks like the recall goes off and he just did get towards that main. And Well, there's no cannons down, so the probes are starting to bleed out and Harstum gives up his forward position. He also loses a couple of Stalkers, the Void Ray, and I believe a Century or two that were left behind. So, quite messy trying to respond to this. It's not go too well for him. Yeah. A little surprised Nurtio going to go for eight more mutas. I don't think that's a bad choice, okay. though. I don't think this was him trying to get up to 20 or 30. I just think it's replacing the ones that have gone down. Maybe. All right. Yeah, all right. Because he is still going for the Infestation Pits. He still has that big Roach Hydra army. I thought it was going to be exactly like last game, uh, just with having a, a little more pressure on his bases. Does decide to go for the third, but he might be the one that's trapped in this little well. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit awkward for Harsin to try to filter out of his base like this. Uh, definitely yeah, wants to keep Link on defensive cooldown this time. 
Guarding Shell adding a lot of extra sustainability to this army. It looks like he'll clean up the Hydras, but might be at the cost of the Nexus. Hydras have started to focus this down, and but frankly, they just have Ooh, a lot of damage. Everything just fell apart in an instant. The third goes down, the Mutas are back in the main. Most of the sentries died wow. fighting in that well. Ugh. Yeah, Hearthstone down 32 probes at this point. Uh, not to mention that third base. This is looking really good for Nurture. This is what I was a little bit scared of. Like, Nurture just got to get away with everything in the early game. There was no sweat, there was no pressure, and, I mean, ugh. His control of the Mutas is something to be rivaled, that's for certain. Uh, probably a very annoying uh, style to deal with, to do it consistently as well. This wasn't just one time thing, obviously. Like, this is the second time Nurture has done it. <laughs> Poor Phoenix. I'm yeah, helping. Well, that's, I'm helping. You know, he had to recall when he was doing good pressure just because of only eight Mutas. He didn't know if there were going to be more Mutas. Like, you can never just be like, well, I'm going to guess there won't be. And, uh, you know, <laughs> play as if there aren't. Because that's. You know, mutas are way too dangerous to do that. Just. That's it. I'm really worried. Hearthstone just can't get that supply hand up anymore. His income is in the garbage. And Nurture, in the meantime, is maxing out. He's moving towards Hive Tech. I mean, there's just so many things going well for Nurture. Hearthstone, at this point, his best bet might just be to try an all-in before Nurture becomes unbeatable. Because I feel if he tries to take this third, he's going to be way too far behind to play this game out. Yeah, it looks like that's his choice. Doesn't have nearly enough minerals to throw that Nexus down. One Phoenix takes on seven Mutas or so. I mean, they're perfect. Go, in an absolutely perfect world, it would. But one health remaining? <laughs> Unlikely. Very good. Alright, Revelation to see the army of his opponent on the other side of the map. Uh, this is actually a pretty big deal because now he knows where Nurtu is slithering around, but... Oh, this doesn't get any easier. Nice force fields going down. You know, Harson could possibly just leave the sentries here and take out two bases with the stalkers, but it's risky because if you miss even one force field, that's it, you're done. Yeah, sentries will die very quickly. And he does miss these force fields, so a lot of the Hydra army does get down, but it is a mostly Hydra army. They're blast cannons. Can he do something with Blink? Here comes that Oracle. Does a lot of damage before going down, but it does ultimately go down. Blinking around for sustainability, but, yo, know, Nurcio pulling the drones like this, it seems unnecessary, but it's going to be what locks this fight down for him. GG. All right, Harstam will take.